call the law of signs ambiguous case. So to picture what's going on, let's focus on this little diagram right here. Uh, when I run into this law of signs ambiguous case, I draw a horizontal ray out this way, implying that it could go as far as we want. I draw this side, which is not the which is not the side opposite angle A. Uh, there's little b is 26, and then the idea is that this opposite side, little a, depending on its length, it may or may not even hit this horizontal ray. It has to be longer than this h in order to do so. So if you want to know, do I really have a triangle? Is it really going to come down here and hit this side? You have to say 8. Sine of 46 equals h over 26. h equals 26 sine of 46, which is this number right here, 18.703. <clears throat> so since this 23 is longer than h, it's going to reach this side because it's longer than the altitude. But if I picture swing it around this way, it will also hit here because it's less than 26. If it was longer than 26, like 28, it would miss this horizontal ray. <clears throat> so you can have zero triangles if A is not long enough. You could have two triangles, as indicated in this diagram. Uh, you could have two, uh, one triangle if it misses the opposite ray. Okay, so this is a two-triangle scenario. And what we're going to do is use the law of sines to find this angle, which we're calling angle B. And we can say the sine of big B is to its opposite side, 26, as the sine of angle A, which is 46, is to its opposite side, which is 23. So multiplying both sides by 26, Sine of B equals this expression, which is actually the altitude divided by 23. And so angle B is the angle that has a sine of that number. Or B is the inverse sine or sine inverse, the angle that has that as a sine. Okay, and when you do that calculation, you get this, which means we've got an acute angle. To get the angle B sub 2 for the obtuse angle, we have to subtract this number, 54.41, from 180. Because 180 minus this 54.41 will also have a sign that's this number. And once you've got B sub 2, which is 125.6, or 120, I'll just put 126 degrees. Uh, we have to find angle C sub 2 by adding together the 46 and the 126, subtracting from 180. And that's where this 8 degrees comes from, 8.41. And finally, to get the length of this little side right here, we use the law of sines again. So we'd say uh, C sub 2 is to the sine of whatever big C was, 8.41 degrees, as 23 is to the sine of 26, or sine of 46. And C sub 2 equals the 23 times the sine of 8. 4 divided by the sine of 46. That's how you solve this for this obtuse triangle. And there, there are the numbers right there. Okay, hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.